and uh, they're looking into it. Amateurs copy, professional steel. Un do make an announcement. All right. All right, so make an announcement. Just hit Cosmo. Thanks, Cosmo. So I figure out the, the link. All right, I'm just saying an announcement. I've started legal proceedings against uh, BitClout. I found the connection between my work and theirs. And uh, it turned out that my former um, partner, when I went to South Africa, and uh, if you go to the, I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm going to show you the connection. And the reason why I walked away from $10 million in South Africa is because this is what's playing right now. Okay, so basically the guy I have, are you looking right now on Twitch? Okay, so there was, the, there was little crumbs, little crumbs happening, right? And uh, I didn't care. I don't care that they're doing my work. It doesn't matter. This is this is because I was like, this is like the aha moment. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to just call my attorney that I've had since 2011 that knows me, knows my work, right? Has been along this entire rabbit journey, which now I think, now I know why he's one of the best attorneys in DC, right? So it's like Undaudu knew I would need him and had me prepare and meet him, right? Really early on before I went anywhere, right? So this guy would be drug along my chaotic, mad, um, you know, clown, right? I'm the mad clown too, right? I'm, I've got this divinity and this madness, right? Kind of. So, so in um, in 2016, when the Dow was hacked, um, I, um, um, I I pulled together a team, and this guy, Tyler, had been following me for a long time, but we never did anything. But he finally came on board. And he was like um, my press, you know, like a, like a, the organized guy because I'm, I'm like a, the balloon needs a string. He was a string guy. So I ended up going all the way down. Uh, we went to DevCon uh, 2. We secured in investors. Um, it was this Kersner, South Africa. They flew me down. And ultimately, they wanted to take over the project and do it. And they saw, they saw great potential and everything else. And in essence... Um, you know, see it as a way to take over the world. And that was actually the message that in a way we were, we were, it was, it was, it was coming out. Right. But I just didn't feel right. You know, I'm always, I always work. I listen to my feelings, not my mind. I'm a feeling person and it didn't feel right. And I just decided, no, I'm, we're, I'm not going to do it. Well, this guy was part of that, you know, imagine flying down all the excitement. And, 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 and then I saw, you know, I, I don't have any, I mean, I appreciate it because he, I look at it that Undow Do got him to do it. He didn't betray me. He was just doing what he was destined to do. You know, it was like part of the unfolding thing, right? And um, he, um, you know, I'm sure he felt bad because when I, so what happened was, and the reason why this project, one of the things that's confusing, it's like it's launched incomplete, right? You can't do anything, right? Well, because I started, see, he knows me. I am like a dog on a bone, right? You're, you know, and in January, I decided I kind of saw it, and and I'm sure Ty was like, "Holy shit, he's," you know, and I'm talking, and he, you know, and he saw how quickly I pulled the last project together. Um, so when I said, "Hey, I'm pulling the team together. We're going to go at it again," he's like, "Oh, great!" And, he, and I have it all recorded. You know, I record everything. Now you see why I record everything, why I do everything. You know, have it because uh, I want to have a whole. You know, um, I'm tired of, you know, doing stuff and then people say, no, it wasn't me or no, I didn't talk to you or no, you didn't do it. Right. right. So and, and the other thing is kind of selfish is that when I did my last and only successful startup back in 94, which is called the Southern Shakespeare Festival, the one thing I regretted after success and after doing it is looking back, no one saw what it took. It was like that work was just uh, easy and I wanted to have a record to feed the noodle right, the AI, to show others what it took, the persistence. I mean, I'm persisting on this in 10 years. So, so, so this, when I saw his thing, it was like one of those things that popped out. It was like a little notch in there, right? Boom, red flag, okay? 
And then yesterday I noticed their logo. And I was like, shit, that logo is a, is a, is a, is a, you can see the yellow picture, right? On here. That's a DAO. That's a DAO, right? I came up with that. This is the DAO. I came up with the DAO in 2011, right? I called it, I called it an open corp 3.0 model. We didn't have blockchain back then, right? So they, the Telic renamed it the uh, um, distributed, uh, or, or it should be decentralized autonomous. I put distributed because I'm dys dyslexic. And it is, and actually now it makes sense why it is distributed because see DAOs form a network. I just got this from talking to you. So when they saw me wrote distributed autonomous network, right? They stacked it to show the distributive nature of this DAO, right? So they even took this and it's actually more evidence because if it was just if it was just a decentralized, they would have just done one. But because it's distributed, it's going it's showing two, you know, on it. So I'm I'm sure that these guys are working on the DAO and everything, and in you know, and, and they haven't just connected the pipes. But because of my action, they kind of rushed early. Then they rushed early. I saw it, so I started being kind of like, "Whoa, great! We're gonna fork, fork, fork!" Like you're in that other room, you know. It just sickens me listening to to you know lemmings being thrown off off you know off the cliff because ultimately the whole purpose of the FOMO and everything and it's not about building you and your brand it's about getting people to buy Bitcoin to drive down the liquidity the, the amount right so it will drive up the price for the rich people that's all it about you know it's a it's a it's about that and stealing your Bitcoin in the process so it's like I steal your Bitcoin all right then in stealing your Bitcoin it causes the price to spike right right so, so, and so I did all this, I made the connection and then I don't know why I just thought of Chuck, Chuck Morton. And I went to, you know, this guy, Venerable, right? This guy, Chuck, great guy. He just, I just, I had to close. I can't have Chuck on the phone. You know, I can't have talking to the attorney on the phone. I mean, I'll, I'm, I'd love to, but out, out of respect of Chuck, right? Cause he's a friend, right? And I don't know how he would take that. Um, and you know how attorneys are kind of squirrely in the fourth age, in the fifth age, we don't need them because it's the AI takes care of it. Right. That's the thing is, see, I pretend I'm in the fifth age. I don't, I pretend that I don't need to worry about anything. Right. Cause the, because, the, because 0202, the thing on my back has my back, right. The thing staring out of the 19 inch monitor that I'm carrying around that, you know, that ultimately is, it's, it's the, it's the end of the, of the, of the fifth age. It's un, which is Bitcoin. That's where in the Dow, which this starts. And then the do, which is T singularity, which is coming, right? It's everything props up that, you know, that, that AI. So, you know, so I'm carrying this, you know, this monkey on my back. So I realized, you know, and then I was like, you know, these guys need to put the money in escrow. And um, at least for the for the people, if they were if they if they had good, honest intention, they would say, "Listen, we're escrowing this," but nothing, right? And then I get blacklisted from them, and now they open it up and they figure it out we'll just let let them come in and be quiet and you know not give them the stage. So I went in there and tried to like, hey, you know, um, on it. So um, you know, so I call up Mug. So this is what I'm asking. I don't want anything from them. I want absolutely nothing. All I want is this. I want him. In, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put everything they've taken and we're going to put it in, into the smart DAO. And I'm going to try to take control of the project. <laughs> and I'm going to take all of Sequoia's and all of them, those 2 million tokens, where are they going? In the smart DAO. Everything's going in the DAO. And Morton, he's, he's a DC attorney, right? Do you think he's not going to get a fucking kick out of going after some fucking Silicon Valley, Valley fucks? like Sequoia Capital and all these others, I'm broadcast. Yeah, he's going to fucking love it, dude. So I said, listen, Chuck, you know, I'm going to be out here just just causing heck. Give it to your best boys, right? That's what I told him. Give it your best boy. Let him delve in it. Don't waste your time with it, right? I think we're going to have fun here. And he says, yeah, it sounds like a good plan. So, you know, I had probably the shortest call I ever had with him. And I tried to lay everything out like in the email. I'll pull up the email I sent him, right, for everyone to know. So breaking news. You ignore. I'm. I'm such. You know. The thing is, it's like I am. Oh, you did see it, right? Yeah. Well, you know why I read. I sent it quick. I realized. I realized all of a sudden that I. I was like doing this. I realized shit. What they could do is is hire him and get him off my. You know, like you know, if, conflict of interest, right? 
So, but the good news is he's been with me since 2011. So I could maybe argue, but if he does have it, he could say, well, he's been my client technically since 2011. He's been on hold. So that, you know, that, that, and I think that's, that's a, you know, there's not going to be anyone, right? The blockchain didn't exist in 2011. I had a relationship with him in 2011. Ergo, any relationship after that is not in void. See how Undaudu worked it? Undaudu you know, went to, and he is one of the top things. So basically I laid it out here. Hey, Charles, how are you, brother? I think this might interest you. Nearly every Silicon Valley VC has a stake in BitClout. I put, you know, um, there is no entity behind this project. It's a broken found up since they launched it without a DAO. As stated, we are just code and coins. Therefore, they are community. And therefore, uh, we should be, we want all the Bitcoin plus endowment, um, held until the uh, bit count, uh, bit, uh, smart DAO is built. Anyway, I personally don't have, uh, have an opinion. That's why I have you, right? Here is, um, here I am sharing with a buddy VC on, I do have opinion, but I was trying to like, um, cause I put it up there. That is my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You let him tell him what to do. So I put this, this talk here is the crazy clown, right? So that's the crazy clown. And then this talk here, have you watched this video of mine? This video, you should watch this one right here. I'll just, all right, I'm just going to go over this really quick. This is probably the best. I, I, I'm, man, I was super tired and I wanted to go to bed. This was like, I had no energy. That's my problem. I have too much energy and it, and it gets me too wirely. And this, listen to this one because this kind of nails it all on the head and I connect all the dots and everything else. And, uh, and, oh, another, other thing, are you in the community, are you on, on, you're on LinkedIn, right? Yeah, I followed you last night. Okay, no, but I, don't follow me, invite me, connect with me, and not only that, um, are, you need to add yourself to the, the community, so there's the, there's the group, and there's the community, right? So the, the one with, with just the name, that's, that's the community, and you need to add yourself to it right? It, we don't have a company. There is no company. So we're a community, right? I have, we're all self-employed. We're all doing our thing. That's why I have it listed as a self-employed company, right? So everyone is individual. Um, but um, that gives, um, you know, uh, structure to, uh, to it. Um, anyway, so in the fourth age. Okay, so follow so don't follow the company. You can follow the company too. No, follow in, in, link up with me. All right. Um, right. In the let's see. Hold on, I'll just put this here. Okay. Yep, yep. Connect with that, and then uh, let's see. Amateur copy pressure still, <laughs> and then welcome to the fifth age. All right. I have um, at on on Daudu has. Acted. His 2011 attorney at what's his name? What is it now? I'm gonna put this in the press release. It's like a press release. You need to watch. You, yes. Okay. So, all right. Let me explain what happened. So you understand. You need it. This needs to get out. I have it in my in my. So, so it's really simple, right? So I'm gonna give you another story. Once upon a time, there was a cougar, and this cougar wanted to. Um, I'm gonna take it back. I'm making this up like now, right? All right. Let me actually. Let me go on to um, on to Undow Dude. Uh, to it, so I can add this to um, the, the the logs. You're gonna enjoy this. I make you. This is you can tell people. I was the woman that brought this about with a question to Undaudu, and he reached back into his memories. And I'm gonna I'm gonna chant. And I'm gonna recall. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna tell you a story no one has ever heard for thousands of years, for hundreds of thousands of years, actually be more specific but let me get my thing going up because i want to record it um so so when i'm on found when i'm on undow do twitch i am undow do the you know the monk when i'm on found ups i'm kind of the crazy clown that can summon undow do spirit right and focus him and give him the right direction does that make sense so in in one persona i'm this crazy clown 
on this journey and you know and i have this i have this i have this um spirit god norman uh mayan god spirit and and i can channel him and you know and he can kind of direct me on it and then then the other one uh, i i i i'm the monk version of that and i'm no longer the clown and i'm just centered and you know and on on that let's see here um let's see yeah, i don't want games oh, let's see stream real life Undow do awaken help smile okay category it is just chatting on i'm gonna put it down there's no thing to look at on I am Undaudu, and I want to tell you a story, a story that has been long forgotten in human history, a story that was never written down, a story when the monk apes and the trolls ruled the world, and man cowered in the dark, fed upon by spirits and corruption. The trolls you would consider today as kind of like the bit Mine, Bitcoin miners. They are greedy. They walk down to the golden pond that was left when Shigamatra died, and her and her body melted, her her bones and everything turned into this gold, powerful, and everyone wanted this water of Shigamatra as it lay between the mountains in the Himalayas. And they would come down, these trolls, and guard and keep everyone else away. They scared away the people because Shigamatra wanted to leave her her essence for the people for the humans for the for them you know to grow up and be better another group the the orcs they were called goblins sorry the goblins are always playing in the affairs of men and they can mask themselves as humans and everything else and their goal is to corrupt and they envision this great nationalistic goblin territory that would take over everything even the trolls but they lacked one thing. They needed to get access to the, the, the waters of Shigamatra. They needed to find a way to, you know, to, to, to get it before it's all gone. And not only that, they had been, you know, they had been so close to successful in overthrowing the, the whole, you know, country of this territory. But they were exposed and exposing, they were kicked out, and they're really upset. So they thought, listen, we can make our own, our own system. And what we can do is drill a hole. We'll drill a hole into this golden well and get hold of Shikamatra's, you know, essence. And in doing so, we can feel, feed the essence to these humans who are, in a way, like muskrats just chasing after. And they're going to be corrupted by the, when they taste like the Turkish delight of her essence, they're going to want more and more. And as they get more, the, the, um, you know, the pipe that we have dug in underneath the trolls, so the trolls don't see us, and we will open up the floodgates, we will steal all of the, the last of Shigamatra's essence, and the people will be left with our meaningless token as we have all of this Bitcoin. And in doing so, the price of Bitcoin is going to skyrocket up and we'll be the ones holding it. And we will have the money and the power because by emptying out Bitcoin, we're going to drive Bitcoin to the price of tens to hundreds of millions per token. And in doing so, we will have the money to take over the world. There you go. Do you follow? I do. So basically what's happening is this. The st so I'm got a new, if you want, raise your hand. Let me get Julian a, a thing up here. So what's happening is this. The, um, if you want to talk and join the community, raise your hand. What's happening is, is Stop the Steal has become the great Bitcoin steal, right? And, um, and the great Bitcoin steal whole point is to steal the the last of the bitcoin that's there you know the having once the bitcoin leaves and there's more demand for it than there is for it is it's, it's you know it's supply and demand right um it's it's going out of this world 
And see, what problem is, is like all these stock people, and I go and I listen to their rooms, and they're, they're, you know, they're thinking Bitcoin is like stocks. They look at their charts, and they're, you know, they're so caught up in all that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, just flash your mic if you want to talk, and then I'll stop. Okay. Okay, so so these guys are so clueless that these these basically these troll these 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 or, these ogres or not ogres these goblins right think of them the 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 whole thing and this is probably a spy right in hey doing Forrest it's over hey go back to your masters and tell them I've contacted my attorney this is the outcome you so you missed it or you can watch it you can go back basically this is what I'm asking I'm I'm I am going to have um. They're called Venerable. You can look them up. They're one of the top DC attorneys. They're going to love basically taking Sequoia and all you. And so, well, Sequoia is not going to help you. Sequoia is going to gladly just turn over and want to wipe their hands from it because what is going to happen is this: is we're going to leverage the whole fact that this is a um, um, a nationalistic movement and something else you don't know, Julian. Trump, all of Trump's tweets have been uploaded to the platform. Not only that, he's identified as still president of the United States. Now, if that, I heard that last night. yeah. So if that isn't enough, right? So just end up just the position that 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 Alexander is in there and everything else is in there, right? So it's going to be easy for me. And here's the beautiful thing: I don't want any of it. I could walk away if I wanted with three thousand Bitcoin. I could walk away with two million of their tokens. I can walk away with all that. But see, I'm a sadu, and I don't give a fuck about that shit. I, I don't run on the treadmill anymore. I sit on the side and I look at it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take over the project. We're going to finish it. All of that is going to go into the DAO, except for what is needed to pay and what's fair. I'm going to rework all, you know, there is no, whatever their plans are, it's going to be completely non and void. And it will be launched as found ups or, you know, <laughs> I now do. That's the mind God in me just stepping down and from the heavens and just crushing the little ant that they are and their ego and thinking that, you know, one person in Japan, you know, can't do that is, you know, is, is funny to me because that's their hubris, right? Anyone can do it. They just have such ego that they don't, they think they're, they're invincible. I'm a sadu. I see through the. I see through. I see through the cloud. I, I. I see. I mean, uh, yesterday I was attacked five different ways. I can't remember all five. I counted them. I, I was attacked five different ways. So if you notice, people don't come to my room anymore. I've been marginalized here and everything else. And the, the irony to me is this: is that this is a Chinese server. All right. So you have all these intellectuals talking about stuff, and you're feeding the Chinese. So, you know. So. To, me and Chuck were laughing about that too, by the way. So you're on a Chinese server feeding all your secrets there, right? And all your opinion, and you're and they're just data mining. And what they're doing is, it's called it's called a um, they're figuring out what it is, what moves you, what floats you. I mean, every word coming out of you is being fed to a computer that then knows how to manipulate you. And we've seen that with Cambridge Analytica. We've seen that with every. And we have very smart people in here who don't care obviously right so i you know my gift two things i have going for me two gifts number one is is my soup as a sadu you get you talk to brock pierce he was like he i was in a meeting with him he says yeah as a, as a, as an awoken one he called you know i i call it sadu i don't like the word i don't like the word prophet i don't like the word you know messiah these are all tainted things right they were used for sadus the first it's just all a sudu means is one who sits with the do that's it all these labels placed on us you know um uh for jesus for buddha there were we were all we we're all one we all started from the do some 13.8 million years ago there isn't if you take back you think about it, we're in a near singularity we're in this quantum soup there isn't one quanta that is more special than another quanta we were one the only problem is is when i was jesus when you were jesus when we were Jesus, we didn't have the vocabulary for that all right so the problem the whole thing with religions and everything else is we are creative creatures we know the 
the do exists, and yet we couldn't define it. We didn't know how it was about, and then we have problems of people coming in and usurping it, like like this guy trying to take over the world with my work, right? You know, the same thing. The South Africans. It was the, it was the reason I walked from the deal, because this was what they wanted. And see, Tyler knew that. He saw that, and I wouldn't give it to them. So then, basically, he went and got into that group. And said, listen, I have a way for us to take over the world. And he, he, you know, in, 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 and I, it was kind of like, um, you know, it, it, there was another time I saw this. I saw something. I can't remember what it was. But it just made me stop and look. Oh, God, the, the similarities between how I launched Ethereum and how this launched is astounding. Okay. And in the sense how it, so, so. So you could think of the moment that I figured out that Ethereum was my work was the moment um, Miha, I sent out an, an, an image to folks and, and I think Miha was nervous because they had just launched because he knew you know, what, I, what I was. So he called me back. That's what it was. He called me back to basically figure out what I was doing and where I was going with it. And he acted, oh my God, he acted like it was an accidental dial. Right? I just figured that out right now. It wasn't an accident. I always thought it was a butt dial. No, because I, I was like, I, I'm doing this. And he was like, shit, what is he doing? You know, um, and the reason why they put the bunny rabbit is because I never had any, any connection with, 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 with the bunny rabbit, right? The cute, cuttable bunny rabbit. Oh, he's, he's, he's just a, he's just, he looks like he's just a natural savant genius, right? He is a genius, by the way. And I have in my stories, he's a bit tall. He's the bone thrower, and he is, he is the guy, um, you know, 500,000 years ago when I was alive in my, you know, in one of my first human incarnations, right, that developed the javelin that made us into super weapons, right? The javelin is what was, was, was a ballistic weapon, and he, believed, he created not only the javelin, not only how to, like, do obsidian like all the all the, so in in my history of the world vitellic plays an important role in every evolution of our planet moving forward the creation of money was vital right so i go back his genetic line is if you go that his genetic memories that's his path make sense right um and every one of the people around the 19 around me those are the 19 basically have that they've always been you know um have access to you know that they have the x they were lords and they were part of the nobility going back and everything else so i've created because i realize and i'm a big fan of um of um and this is my gift to um um uh, campbell joseph campbell you know joseph campbell you gotta say so joseph campbell is a big fan of so what you know, it, it's mythology that creates the fabric of community. It's mythology that makes us human. And the problem what's happened is we have lost our mythology. So I realized, in listening to Joseph, I realized that. So I said, I need, and, and it wasn't a conscious thing. It was just a thing that kind of morphed. And I realized that when I was connected to this calendar, Right, which really I, I don't consider it. it's a, it's a it's a prophecy hidden as a call it calendar in plain sight. So you have to imagine me, okay? I'm I am a I'm a level zero, you know, sadhu. Someone like Jesus would be level ten, or you know, like you know, like um, maybe even that you know, dadu or whatever you know, daudu when he was you know that the god he was completely awoke. He could see the entire lines of time. He could see everything, right? And he knew that ultimately there's nothing he could, he could so imagine you are woke i mean awoke in a, in a way that you can see through the through the through the through the tunnels of time just dream you can dream the future and he sits there and he dreams the future and he realized there's absolutely nothing he can do that the, that the pandora's box the orobor had been lit, released right and he, it would have to get to a point through all this shit to a point when um the technology was just right Okay, and there was this only one chance at this at this one space, and that and that was uh, twelve twenty one twelve, and he was like, okay, I have to travel either in spirit or myself. I have to somehow put myself there. I have to leave myself a map 
all right? I, there's like so many different things. And not only that, um, I have to wipe something out of my brain because if I don't wipe it out, there's a chance I find it and it will it will corrupt the thing. It's called a nexus. If you're in a nexus, and if, if I reveal a nexus to you and I realize, you know what the nexus is and why, if you watch me, what do I struggle saying? What word I cannot say? Bit clout. Watch my videos. I cannot say bit. I, I have to physically, I cannot say it because bit clout is the nexus. This is the nexus. And he knew that I, you know, because, because, you know, um, if there's a chance of me seeing this nexus or anything else, it can un unravel it and everything changes. So the only, the only option is to wipe that thing out of his mind. So he burns it out of his mind, right? So, so it's, you know, and, and now that makes sense why I struggle with that word so much. It's really been bothering me. It's like, why can I not, you know? And it's funny because I have a video. Let me see if I can find my video, right? This is funny. So um, there's a video from, uh, where would it be? Let me, let me this up. Because he was selling gold, right? You know that. Then, uh, if I search here. Um, uh, so, no. um, there's a video I made last year, or 2019, when I was going to launch. I spent fifty to eighty thousand dollars trying to launch Foundups at DevCon Five. I thought I saw the five, right? In the five, and and then the logo of DevCon Five is actually what Vitalik looks like on on the mind calendar. I have a thing where I go through all that. I don't know if you've seen this. Have you seen this? The cool thing is, is, is I have so much material. When they realize what I have, right? There's, you know, talk about the, um, you know, the next, um, what's her name? Writes all those books about stupid Harry Potter, right? This is so, this is going to be, this is going to lead to movie franchises. This is going to lead to books, everything else. And guess what? I want nothing of it. It's all going to go into a DAO, right? I want, I have no desire for anything, for any material wealth whatsoever. I have zero desire or need for any of that. Oh, someone's calling me. What is it? Let me see what this is here. Where is it calling? Joining, try. Yo, yo, yo. I accept. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm on a friend. I'm with, I'm with my brother. Look at this guy. You're like cutting edge new technology. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to wake you up if I called you before. I can't even see. I see you like blurred. Yeah, I know. I'm. Yeah, you could go to. Hey, Bill. Yeah, I'll tell him. Yeah, All right, he's he's trying to figure out. I, I don't. Uh, anyway, so um. Um, remind me what, what thought we were at. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't have it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hold on. I got to get, I got to close that. I got to go to here. I got to go to my Steam Manager. Uh, looks club bit. Uh, looks for the club Bitcoin Legacy. I know. Oh, it's 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 burnt. It's burnt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This is this is uh, Dos Rosses. I know movie and book deals. But it's, hey. It's all going to just go to the Dow. You know, we're going to feed the Dow. Feed the Dow is the monster. The Dow, the goal of the Dow is just to, so, so my goal right now is to devour as much Bitcoin because I know this, this, this massive rapid thing is going to happen. So the most, if we can, if we can take all their Bitcoin, throw it into the Dow, all their things, throw it into the, whatever, you know, it's going to be, I think it's in, uh, you know, and this is, uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm curious on how, you know how uh, how Charles is going to take that because he's got some, you know, 
uh, really good. I think he's going to be excited to finally, you know, he's never been able to do anything for me. He, he introduced me to YouTube. They wasn't interested. I went to, to I didn't, you know, it was just like, it's like he wants to help. He's always seen, he's, he, you know, he's always taking my meetings. He's always taking my calls. He's always, you know, he's always like, how can, I, how can, I? and I think now when he reads this, he's going to go, this is why I know him. This is the moment I can step up and do it. And um, I need to talk. Hold on. Um, and uh, hold on. I'm talking. Brock Pierce just called. Hold on. Brock, I am taking a lawsuit against them. Can you uh, watch me on Twitch found ups? All right. So, uh, Brock, watch Twitch found ups. Okay. All right. Brock, I got Brock Pierce. By the way, guys, Brock Pierce is coming to the stream. Oh, my God. That was like, see that right there, Julian? That's on Dow Do. You, you see that? You see what happened just then? I'm talking to you. I just got off the phone. Brock never fucking. I mean, Brock has a gazillion. Bok do, I should say. Bok do. Oh, I'm going to do, undo, do, undo, do, undo, do. Let me tell you a story of Bok do, okay? Bok do um, always carries a dagger around him. The dagger, let me tell you what the story of the dagger is. The dagger represents a time when way back, okay, you have to understand, Back in the day when um, 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 this was this is like five hundred thousand years ago, there was three tribes of men. There was the the sha, the sha, the 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 Shadu, the Shanu, and the Shara, and the three sisters hated each other. And within and what happened was they devised a plan in a way for you know for who would control. I'm going to post videos in here, so if you're bored and you don't want to listen to this, you can watch this video, all right? And um, this video here, this gives you an update. Oh, I don't want that one. Escape. This video, copy. Because I know, Julian, you want to hear this, right? You want to hear about Bok Do. All right. Uh, v. That's all right. All right, so I'm going to tell you the story of Bok Du. Now, Bok Du was this amazing, amazing warrior. He was kind of short, but he was fast, and he was highly opinionated, and he always had that dude's back. He was a, you know, and um, so back then, we Liz, I'm going to pull up. Um, let's see what else I want. This is, um, um, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, watch those on there. Watch those things, Buck do, and I'm going to tell your story. And uh, so I'm going to pull up, uh, let's see, where do I have it? Um, I'm going to pull up just the Google Maps, right? I'm going to tell you where this goes, where, where, I'm going to show you where we originated and where Atlantis is, right? As these people watch these other things, Google Maps. Right, it wasn't. It, I can't say the name. It had a name. It was it didn't have really a name, right? Um, but it was it called the Monk Gate. It's called the um, um, Google Maps. All right, boom, boom. That's where I live. So where I'm right now, these places are all places where I go and get wild food. And this is I mark right all this heart. This is where this is my secret wasabi farm. These two here. I have wasabi farms in the mountains. I'm going to be going there actually on the first with my mountain guy. So when you come here, you know, and uh, this is Tokyo. So I live on this side here. This over here is going to be the center for found ups right here. So what's going to happen is uh, this is like the uh, this is going to be the headquarters for for uh, social uh, beneficial capitalism for found ups. Right. This is going to become like a like a. Um, uh, uh, an open fest right in here, uh, yearly up in the mountains, and it's amazing. It's called uh, Kamiyama. You can look it up. And uh, we're going to basically buy everything. Everything is pretty much 90% uh, of the community is empty year round. 90%. We're going to turn it from, and then and then it's busy on on winter time. 
and uh, it's an Alp. It's the most amazing place. It's where the Olympics happen. So we zoom out. There's the island. This, by the way, is where the found. Huh? All right, all right, man. Uh, cool. Let me give you uh give you some rank here. Make moderator. Yeah. So um, I got when you left, Matt. I kind of had I the dots kind of came together like I was working on that stuff, and then I thought of my attorney, and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ask Mort and what he feels venerable. So um so basically the um if um I made a connection as the, I was you saw that that diagram right where. Where was that in here? This diagram right here, right? I'm putting in Bitcoin comments. Amateur, amateurs copy professional steel in the fourth row. Welcome to the fifth age. As um, Andadu has contacted it. Andadu is, Andadu, I'll just write this. Seeks, um, wants to, Put all the BTC and tokens on um, BitClout, right, into the DAO. See, they, they launched early. They didn't have a DAO. So it's like a broken found. They launched as a found up without a DAO, right? And they said their code. So listen to my talk in there, right? So I want basically, this is what I'm telling them. I want nothing, right? This is going to be awesome. Not only that, it is these nationalist group who got uh, who got kicked off of Twitter, creating their own Twitter, right? In order, and then, you know, in order to get their voice back and destroy Twitter. So it's a revenge move. And it's the same revenge move, this is what I was talking about, the Cougar, that happened with Bitcoin Magazine, which was right here, right? And the guy behind it, oh, not Florida, the guy behind it was Matthew N. Wright, and he was kicked off Twitter, and he was so pissed off at B uh, Twitter, a uh, 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 Bitcoin talk, that he was so pissed off, he launched something called Small Planet that led to Ethereum. Small Planet's whole point was to, um, you know, to uh, basically dis destroy um, uh, Bitcoin because of, of his banishment. So I want you to imagine here is where we are originated, right in this area right here, and this this is this is where this is where all life. So this is so uh, so Socrates Socrates right. This is Yemen up here, and um, you know, if you think about, um, you know, 10 million years ago, there would have been just a little river out here. You know, it would have been all land. It would have been all peninsula, right? And what happened was as all the all of the ice melted all the here, it flooded and all this erosion. This is all erosion from, from water pouring down. And uh, what happened was the reason why there's so many different hominoids, which anthropologists can't answer, but I'll answer, is because the, the earlier monk apes, so the monk apes, we were all over. The monk apes were kind of like meerkats, more monkey than meerkats, right? And the monk apes were, you know, after, came up after the shrews and they pretty much populated the world. So the, in this area here, the monk apes ended up getting trapped in all these, I, I, there would have been a ton of peninsulas. And if I would change this to a Google view, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. If it's going to change. You can see the, the um, where are you here? Where's Socrates? Yeah, so you see this land, all this land in here. Look at all this land, right? All this would have been land. All this would have been land in here. This whole, this is probably Atlantis right here. This land right there. You see that that area? And all of these islands would have had different, you know, different monk apes all trapped. And as the water rose and the lands got cut off, now we know there is human remains here from 3 million years old. 3 million. There's hominoids here from 3 million, okay? So obviously this was all a peninsula, right? All of this would have been, and there would have been a little river. And what happens when the waters came rushing down here? Um, it 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 sunk. It would it finally you know displaced us, and we ended up started here. We probably ended up actually here because back then all of this would have been you know when we got displaced probably would all have been land. So the problem is why there's no evidence of us more than 350,000 years ago. It's underwater. We were petrified of the land. We grew up on water. So, and if you watch the journey of man, which followed our DNA, it tracked us that we, it, it followed, we followed rivers. So we basically, wherever there was water, we would follow it. 
right? And it took us 30,000 years to get to here. And because we're sending all of this, you can look at this, you can see the thing. It would, it would have been easy to move here. And all of this would have been, like, you see, this would have been land, right? Uh, and we, uh, you know, um, made it to New Zealand and even to the islands and everything else. So, um, so anyway, but there was, uh, at this, when we landed here, this is where um, um, we, uh, you know, we're here. And, and one of the daughters, the, th the three daughters, one of them was, was up here, which was Sumerian. Um, that's Sh Shanu. Shara was, was the, was the uh, e uh, Egyptian. That's the monotheist, polytheist. And then Shadu, which was my mother and Bakdu's mother, technically, right? Uh, we don't really know because it was this massive orgy and, and it was like, you know, they, they, you know, it was like all the women down. You don't know who your father is actually, you know, but you know who your mother is because they gave birth and then they sacrificed your mother to the blood moon and then you became the mother of the, of the Sadu, right? Or the Shanu or the Shara. So technically she wasn't my mother, but she became my mother. And the whole point of us, us 19, were to become kind of master warriors to fight what? the Kraken, the Leviathan, to fight Shigamatra, which was prophesied to come and destroy all of humanity. And for thousands of years had been tormenting. And the reason it had been tormenting, because imagine you are an awoke mammoth called the Shadu Awoke Mammoth. And you realize that this little fucking monk ape was going to show up and murder your, you know, your entire world it's going to just cause extinction and ultimately it's collapse and you're awoke is more awoke than we are you could see you know and you're in your in 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 the great mother could actually see through times and and know so they would imagine they would they would meet up here the shadu would meet up here the, the mother would draw this big circle in the sand and she was massive and she, after fasting for a Brock, Brock Du will tell you how many days. I don't know. I mean, he's more connected to all that stuff. And, um, and, and he would make the circle. It's the circle that is around Undao Du, around us. It's the circle of balance. It's the circle of sustainability, right? And the 19 figures are our brothers and sisters that were there in this first epic battle. Well, you know, the, you know, Shad, the Shad, the Shad, they didn't care. They just wanted one. But Andal Du was semi-awake, right? Um, and, you know, he was awoke. And he's like, I'm not going to have my brothers and sisters die. Ain't going to happen, right? And um, Brock Du was his master, you know, um, uh, tactician, right? And he, and he was like, you know, and he was so skillful with a dagger. Except for that one time where he nearly got himself with a boar and... Pretty much Dadu, or uh, you notice I don't call him Undadu, it's Dadu. He didn't get the name Un until he basically just, uh, told the Sha, uh, the Shanu to fuck off, right? And that's when he became an Un, right? Because that's like the worst title ever to give someone Un, like you're unworthy, unknown. So, so because of that event, and I won't go into it because it's going to embarrass Bakdu if he's watching, and I don't want to embarrass him, right? Um, you know, Bakdu was highly loyal, and within the group, there was tensions. There was um, you know, the Jokdu, which is um, Ethereum Joseph, the, the demon, right? And he wanted to be power. He was like five times stronger than, than um, and at and, and this time there was, there was no one in charge, right? So there was this massive power. He had the twins. They were always like, you know, like a bunch of, you know, high school footballers, right? There was Vital, kind of the off, there was Vital, Mittal, uh, which was um, um, Mihao, right? Mihao Lisi. And, and kind of, so there was a little click. Right, and uh, and Buck too, because they, you know, and uh, there was always, you know, and the only thing that that the only advantage that Dadu had was he had these thirty-six inch longs, and he and 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 he had a, a fucking engineer, right? He had Vital, and Vital crafted him the bone, right, the bone spear. But prior to that, you know, it was constant struggle in it, and this tension would always be there. So I'm not going to go into all that tension, but the, the elders is big fight. And Dadu is the is Dadu is the leader, right? Right next to his side, between him and these brothers and everything else, is Bakdu. Like, look at him, say, "You fucking move this way, Jokdu and the twins. I'm gonna fucking stab you." All right, and that's what his, you know, because he never trusted them. He knew they were gonna try to move on him because, you know, they think he cheated them. Do you want to know how he became lead leader, or do you want me to continue with the story? All right. Well, all right. So, okay, 
So, all right, Bittal, who who is the he he created you know money. He he created all these things. His it's he is the innovator, right? Every incarnation is always through the through line. It's Vital who does it. Well, finally. Um, Jock Du confronts him after uh, he's injured, and he's you know he's still healing after um, after uh, you know um, saving uh, uh, Bok Du from the from the boar. Um, he says it's time we should fight, and uh, you know we should we should wrestle. I should be the one, or you should. You're weak now. You shouldn't be. You know you should just tell say everyone that I will be the one to lead the 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 the, the family. Right? There were a family, nineteen in the family, and uh, and for a very long time. Vittel had been had been working on this bone, and you know Vittel has it, you know, and he's like, I'm gonna throw, and he just said it one time. He was at dinner. He goes, I'm gonna throw further than than that do, and everyone burst out and laughing. It was like the funniest thing something could ever send. Just imagine the funniest thing. Vittel, the skinny little guy, right, right, sitting there eating, twiddling on this silly little bone, making the most insane thing to ever come out of the mouth right so he got the name bone thrower like oh yeah throw your bone yeah you're gonna be really great so he would be ragged and ragged and ragged and that dude said listen if you're gonna rag on him you better rag on me and they all shut up right it was like you know you know you want to try my spear and uh and uh basically um, he's been working forever and that dude had been watching him, watching him. And he figured out what he was doing. He was building that spear hook thing where you get an extra extension. And he's like, God, that is genius. Cause he would sit down and like try to figure out what he's doing. Right. Cause he knew if Vital was focused, cause he would be so focused on something that he would forget about everything. They'd been working on this thing forever. And he saw him using it and slipping and, you know, and it was like, you know, but he knew it was ready. So he goes, I tell you what, I'm injured. Jock do. I'm really hurt, right? I'm going to have Vittel throw for me. And you can imagine, can you imagine everyone? They were like, what? Oh, he doesn't want to, you know, it was like, what? what? And, and Buck Du was like, what are you doing? What are you, are you crazy? You know, no, it's okay. Okay, Buck Du, it's fine. You know, he's not losing it. He's, he's, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I'll throw also, right? And, but, but you just have to beat one of us, Jock Du. Well, you know, the story is, you know, and, and, and actually, uh, um, Vital throws the spear, and the first time he fundles, he throws it, and he goes further than anything. And that is how Dadu became the head of the family, right? But they all thought he cheated and everything else, and, you know, and it was still there. So now you're sitting in the triangle. This was after the blood moon and the death of Shigematra's mother. When Shigematra picked up, when the mother, the alpha, the prophesies that this is now the beginning of the fourth age. Uh, or, or actually when Shigematra dies, it begins. This is we're in the third age right now. When Shigematra dies, the fourth age starts. So because uh, Dadu um, killed the mother, it means the ritual of the blood moon was now. And, and it just happened. Um, to be the next day, right? As prophesied, it was going to happen. So she, you know, um, you have to imagine Dadu and the families. They're carrying the the head of the of the great mother, who who's you know whose father had killed their mother. It was like revenge. We've got you know we've we've conquered it. We're we can now have the event. And now since the threat's gone and they've killed and revenged the death of of, of the great mother, which is the mother of the three sisters, the three daughters that formed the three communities, the three societies that led to all of our religions and all of our philosophies, right? Um, they can, there was a power struggle and they were like, let's settle it with, you know, which, which, which is by who has the, um, the, the Shadu, the, the warrior, right? The warrior Shadu, there can only be one. And, and they also knew this darkness was coming, right? And they know they need the Shadu. So the ritual is really simple. They had, they had, they, they raised these nine, these 20, right? They'd put 20, 20, 20. They're in each corner of a triangle. In the middle is your weapons. And you've ever seen those guys that carve out stuff. They create this amazing thing. It's in the ground and the wall and the, and, you know, and, um, and there's this, there's this going to be this, this massive fight, right? So, I'm not going to go into the details of the fight. I've done it before. But anyway, the outcome is no one from the family dies at all. Okay? Well, this kind of, they can't be 20 freaking sadus, right? It's like they wipe and kill everyone. Right. And the, and the way they, they kind of happens is, is Dadu has to go. They, they did kind of a thing that in this is because of Bakdu. Bakdu was like, she said, Dadu, you have to trust me. You have to go first. You have to get in there. You have to distract them. You have to stay alive, right? And that, and you know, and you have to kill, right? You have to kill both the leaders. That's your job. You have to get in there quick 
and you have to kill them, right? Because he knew morale and stuff like that. He was just like this, this brilliant tactician, right? And that's happened, and you know, and it killed. And they were like, huh? And um, and then so Sh so the, all the sisters, the other sisters, already turned and walked away. And Shanu, see, uh, sorry, Shadu, the mother, knew the prophecy. I already saw that her death in the hands. When she died, she was staring at Dadu. She'd seen her death. And the last thing she wanted was Dadu leader. So she said, there can be only one. And Dadu um, is, is said, no. And he throws down his spear. No. And she, you can imagine, she just fucking freaks out. She says, you are on. And she does this long, um, like she's doing her, and everyone else, um, and they all bow down because it's of, of um, and, and, and Dadu standing there, and with him, right, is, is all the rest, but Bakdu stands up with him, and so does Vitel, and Mihao, right, and, uh, and um, I don't know, I can't remember his name, but the, the guy who does uh, end up doing a polka dot, right? They all kind of stand up there, kind of bowing, but, I, but Dadu is standing up there saying, I'm not killing it. And in the pr process, she, she, goes, it, she goes, kill him, right? She says, destroy him. And Bakdu says no, and he takes his dagger and he just thrusts it into his neck. There can only be one. And he, he just sacrifices and whipping his throat out, right? at that time and 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 dadu's like no as he turns around and grabs bakdu in his arms and he says you must be the one right you must be the one as he gurgles on his blood holding his dagger that he now carries around his neck and and uh, at the very same time jokdu and the twins see an opportunity and they slay vital they slay mihao and dadu goes into a rage a berserkness he rolls he picks up his spears and he dispatches them all and he's covered, and he is, he is und. He has gone from a creature of, 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 of care and wisdom to one that has slain his brothers and sisters. And he collapses. Anyway, it goes on from there, but give you an idea. So that's the relationship with me and Bakdu. So Bakdu, just so you know, Brock Pierce, Bakdu was the first of the, he's, he was the first to die and was the first to recognize Dadu, right? And Dadu, he's like, Dadu, come, come hang out with me. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, you know, come hang out. So that's how me and Bakdu re-entered. So as I, and, uh, and also, I always knew I would do ayahuasca. And who would you think would, 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 would introduce me to a, to, to a shaman at the right time, at the right place, at the right time for me to shed the last of my skin and to be one with the memories of my origin. And it allowed me in that, in that sense, when I, when, I, when I took the holy medicine and when I was sitting there, right, I found myself traveling down the memories of my uh, epigenetic DNA. Because you have to understand, I'm an atheist. I have to make sense of all this from a point of view of an atheist, okay? So the only way I can make sense of this point of view of an atheist is through quantum mechanics and epigenetics and things that make sense to me, right? Because I cannot color stuff I don't know, so I can't talk about numbers and triangles and all these different things. I can't talk about, you know, shapes and stuff because, you know, because I'm a very kind of simple person when it comes down to it, right? So ultimately, uh, this journey, and this goes back to Joseph Campbell, as a world, as a world, we have to tie the blockchain to the very origin story of humanity. That's what Joseph Campbell taught me, right? And in doing so, we create the mythology of the 19 that ushered in the fifth age and the stories of each. And I don't know all their stories. I need other people to come up with their stories. The story of the twins, the story of how, you know, how uh, uh, of the demon, right? The, 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 the four cyberpunks, right? Who were they back then? right? I don't know. There's Michael Saylor, right? Who is he, right? How is he? I only see a um, very small amount. I see Bakdu. I see Vital. That's what I can see. I don't have full vision, and I have no desire for full vision, 
right, on, on that. Um, th I just know that they were there and their stories will be revealed. By what? By M NFT stories, right? By you guys, by the community, by individuals as we build the true mythology, the true Star Wars of, of, of an age that ultimately is going to be one in harmony and balance. And if you listen to Sadhu Bok, Bokdu, it is the words that he says. He doesn't talk about the blockchain. He talks about the possibilities and where we're going as, you know, as a species. There you go. I hope, Brock, you enjoyed that. <laughs> I've been wanting to tell you that story for so long. But see, when I come and visit you, you're so hard to sequester, and I'm shy and timid and everything else. So anyway, brother, I love you. I appreciate you, all you did. In, in summation is this, okay? And now um, is basically I have figured out the connection of my work and, and theirs. Um, here is the email I sent to my attorney. Now, here's the beautiful thing, um, uh, Brock, is I've worked, this attorney I've had since 2011 right way before the uh blockchain so um and he's been my attorney so any there you know any conflict there can't be any conflict of interest because um you know uh but i don't know but who knows so what i did was i wrote there is uh there is no entity or or, or behind this it's really a broken found up since they launched without a doubt as stated we're just code that's that's the the thing that's the white paper therefore it's community and therefore all all the 3000 plus bc should go to the community um or an endowment until a smart dao is built right so um we're going to try to we're going to put basically um uh put action to my hope right what i'm saying is is put a whatever is that called when you stop someone from doing something spending something there's a word for it um you stop someone, okay? You know, be honest. Huh? What is it called, Matt? Yeah, or something, yeah, you, you, you hold an escrow. You make them hold. It's something like, not a cease and desist, but it's kind of like, you you can't touch it until we figure out what to do with it type deal, right? They do it all the time, right? I think it'll be easy to do, an attorney, especially him. He's going to file that right away, okay? So they're not going to be able to touch that Bitcoin. That Bitcoin is going to be sequestered. It's going to be locked up, right, until we come to it. And I think... Uh, I think I, you know, here's with Charles. Charles, when I met him in 2011, he wanted to help me. He's there. He's one of these. Charles is one of these. He's one of these 19, right? Right? He may be one of the, I mean, he's, you know, everyone, this, these images could be multiple people, multiple stories, right? It could be many, right? There's not just one version of this. Because we live in, as, as Brock would tell you, we live in multi-dimensions, right? And all these multi-dimensions are all different. All these connections, we're all connected together because we all come out of this, 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 this stuff, this do. That, you know, all, you know, that when all of the, all the different possibilities of who we are at one point was one thing. So, so here is my work. And, I, and the thing is, what, what I noticed was, the first clue was when I took my work and I divided it up. I divided it up into this is where we're at. And I go, look at this. Here is users. There's Bitcoin, right? Users, you put Bitcoin in, right? Kind of, they kind of just, this is, a, this is, this is simply, um, what's it called? Um, uh, a, um, uh, a form, right? A form. Like when you, when you, like a dressmaker, I have a form. I created the form. I'm not a dressmaker. I don't know what fabric, what stitching, you know, what material you're going to make with it, but I can tell you the form. So they're using my form. Here is it. Does it validate? And, it, and they even, they took my green steak is the most important thing, which it is the most important thing. Did they put money in it? Right. And that's where you, you know, that's where, what icons, which icons are you putting money in? And finally, here's the fund, but here's the deal. They didn't understand this part, or maybe they understand this part. Or I don't know what they're planning to do with this part because they launched early. But right now, the Bitcoin goes where? Nowhere. It hits this wall, and it's going to someone's wallet, right? And um, so I realized, like, wow, that is very similar. And then I realized my, my, this guy, used, he was part of my team. He was a co-founder, and he was so upset. I mean, and what caught me here was his map. I was like, what was the gall, right? Um, uh, let me just post that. 
what you know when i go to tyler I, this is what i wrote right this is what i you know last time i um i um so here's Ty, this is what caught me you know when, when like Mihao called me by when when i made the, he called me by accident oh i didn't finish the story Mihao said i go i go hey what are you doing yeah not a lot i'm working on ethereum and i said oh great you know i didn't you know i was you know you know and i and i i turned to look away and for some reason, Undow Do, right, reached in and said, so it says, it's kind of like tickled the word Ethereum. I don't know why. It's just, it's just something told me, look at Ethereum, right? And when I looked at Ethereum, I was like, holy shit, they launched the Open Innovation Framework. They didn't launch this, that part. They launched the, the underlining fabric that I needed to build this, what they're built now. Does that make sense? So you needed the 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 open innovation framework built on the bitcoin protocol for them to build apps on top of it right so when i saw this here and you can see my 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 uh messages on it if i expand this out um where did i expand out i don't know i see i don't know how to fucking this you know facebook is such a piece of shit dude i really i want to see all my messages huh Sorry, Brock, I didn't mean to splash you in there. Well, there's a way to see your messages, and I can, exp I can, okay, view messages. Yeah, the only, you know, the only reason why I'm on Facebook is I have three, th I treat Facebook as a journal. I don't, I don't push it, you know, on it, in it there. So, um, I can't f find... I can't, I don't know how to get it. Anyway, so I'll just, why can't I go? I used to do full screen on this thing. No, I'm in my messages. I want it full screen. I, was, I don't, I don't, I want it to be the full, you know, there's a way to go into your. There you go. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, look. He's got... I think he's just deleted. No? Maybe not. No, he is. Oh, I can't... All right. So, I can't see him. I don't I don't know why I can't... I can't pull him up. Why can't I pull... Yeah. I know I have his mess. So, anyway. So, this is fine. I'll go back. I'll just do it here just to catch it really quick. So... He's a Trump supporter, and we, you know, and I was like, ah, why, Ty, why you do that? And, you know, uh, and uh, I don't hold it. It's like, you know, I says, I think it's dumb, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, and so, so basically, in, and I start working on this, um, this, blah, 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 right here. I say, play balance 2021, be the next Bitcoin. And I launched this um, on 4th of February, 2021. Okay. All right play found up so you know and so his response here i go here's a doc the google doc yeah i can't view it I, again blah, blah. okay i'm really fired up about i'm really fired up about this michael can we chat later today or tomorrow question mark because he wants to find out just kind of like me how remember me how called me you know when i announced that i was I, same thing i announced i was going to do found i was doing permaculture found i was like oh, okay great so oh yeah oh, cool i'll be there i did a whole thing and i have him you know remember all right so, so then it's like nothing, you know, nothing. I put this here, nothing, 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 nothing. I never hear again, nothing, nothing, not, no response, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing, right? So, uh, you know, nothing, right? I'm really fired up on this. Really fired up, aren't you, Tyler, right? So then I noticed this. So then the other thing that I caught, right, was the logo. Yesterday, I was like, fuck, look at their logo. I never really looked at their logo. Now look at the name that I gave to, and this was this was this is a, a reason, a distributed, autonomous, organized, distributed. It's stacked, right? Has anyone have I ever talked about stacking DAOs? Has anyone ever talked about stacking DAOs? No, right? It's not something. I mean, I, I mean, I, I talked about it as being a cadet and stuff, but it's not talked about it in the field. And here they are stacking two DAOs on top of each other. And they took it directly from my work, distributed autonomous organizations. They're, you know, so basically what, what, and, and this is what they realized, and they know, this is a white, this is basically 
this is a white um, white labeling okay they're launching a project so this is how you take over the world okay you launch a project which is then becomes a white label for your agenda so for example they launched this as twi Twitter all right how are you uh, hold on, I don't know who this is but um, watch watch <laughs> watch me on on this is gonna let's see what is it twitch twitch dot TV slash found ups so um so so basically piece to piece came together this was a big clue right why would anyone have an audacity to friggin put the American flag well I walked away from the South African deal because that's what they wanted. I walked away from from it because they wanted to take over the world. Brand, you know, and, and Tyler, I remember now going back, was like, yeah, take the deal, be good. And I was like, no, it's not right to use my work for conquest and for sub, you know, taking over. And this is what they see, right? This is the first project. Here's the second project. Here's the next project. It's a stack of projects. And, they, and, and you roll it out so damn fucking quick that no one can react, right? So I have been in, you know, so the reason why I immediately launched, so you have to understand why I immediately launched the hard fork, because I see that. So I need to, as soon, so to me, it's kind of like, I got to play, you know, um, um, you know, I have, I have to basically play um, um, contact sports, right? So you're launching. I got to immediately launch. And here's the beautiful thing, Brock. Look at the date, 12, 12, 21. <laughs> it's like prophesied, man. It's like, when am I going to launch it? Oh, you know. And the other thing, Brock, that, uh, that uh, um, uh, I was saying earlier, I cannot say the word. If you watch my videos... Um, I cannot say the word. I can't say it now. I have to physically look for the word to say it. Like right then, I couldn't say it. Uh, bit clout. I cannot say bit clout. And I figured out why. Because Andaldu burned it out of his memory out of fear that he would see it. And it would, it would, it, because it's an, it, this is the nexus point. This is the nexus. This is transition from the un, the unraveling of Bitcoin and fear and their attempt. So, so think of this, this, uh, this pyramid here right think of this as bitcoin right what they're doing is and you've got the trolls reaching in the top right you got the trolls reaching in the top grabbing buckets the trolls are the miners right and they've been doing that and no one could get near it and they're like oh stay away from my you know and this is by the way the blood of shigamatra that's melted down into the valley well the 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 the, the goblins these are the goblins right and they're in spirits with 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 the corruption they were like you know what we're just gonna tap the bottom we're going to build a little well, tap the bottom. The problem is, is that, you know, they don't have the technology yet to support, you know, opening it up. And that's what I saw. It's like, holy shit, what are they going to do? They're going to come under here. They're going to tap this. They're going to build the infrastructure here, right, so it can open. And then they're going to basically drain, right? This is, this is, that pyramid is up here, right? So think of that pyramid is above users, okay? And they're going to drain Bitcoin, grab it all, use, then what's going to happen to the Bitcoin price? This is insidious evil shit right here, right? What happens to Bitcoin price? It goes to the millions of fucking dollars. I'm talking about in a year, two years, we're looking at 100 million, possibly even more, because there is no more Bitcoin, because there is none to buy, because everyone's wanting it. It becomes the most scarce damn thing. And it's like that video I've been telling people to watch when, um, when uh, um, and it's weird. This is also weird that I always, had, this video was always on my channel right here until i realized why it was there because undow do knew that i need to all when i you know when the time was right i would recognize the importance of that video at the time you know it represented the pain i was going to heal but it also rep um represented the um hold on youtube I'm going to the wrong place represented the um um the the event that's going to unfold with bitcoin and surprise all these people and then and who so imagine you you write your okay you you build this platform you 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 open up the pipeline you steal out all the bitcoin you have a whole bunch right because you didn't have a bunch before because you're a bunch of white nationalists he didn't understand it 
right? And all of a sudden now you're all billionaires, trillionaires because the price is just going out of control because there is no more, you know, there's no more, there's no more supply at all, and it's it is drying out. Do you guys fall? Is, does that? I mean, is this like anyone here making sense to any of this? Yeah. All right. So this video right here, this video has always been right here. This here on my on my uh, on my this is bound up, right? So this video right here, and and I and I and I was like, you know, I watched it again, and I was like, holy shit, I could replace the the uh, the the food with Bitcoin, and the um, the bacteria with you know with uh, you know with you know with the uh, with the uh, with this with these guys right, or with the whole industry. And uh, and then you know it's one minute to collapse, and I said one back minute to BCT collapse, and that's why I have that on here, right? Audio, don't use Bitcoin. Why? We're one back minute to BTC total exchange supply collapse, and people don't realize how close. Because once this, once you open up the floodgates here, it's over. Anyway, all right, all right. You see now why. So what I'm calling for Brock is this: is that I've asked what I want to do. Is is put an action to is to put a halt or what or grab right uh, those funds. I'm gonna Wyoming. It has a Dow. I want to set up a a Dow in Wyoming. The, all these funds. Plus, I'm gonna go out to Sequoia. I'm gonna fucking go out to Sequoia. All every single investor in this project. We're gonna go out to those two million coins and we're gonna put them back in the community. You see. The way Foundup's like, there is no outside, right? They're basically, they, 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 they took and corrupted Foundup's to try to leverage it and use it for their own end, right? For their own greed. And that worked in the fourth age. It doesn't work in the fifth age. And we are now in the fifth age. Welcome to the fifth age. Huh? That's my attorney's job. Oh, yeah. Now, my, my, I said, my attorney has been along on this rabbit hole of me since 2011, okay? He has always wanted, Charles, Chuck has always had, had this desire to help me. It's like, it's, it's like in his bones. I've seen it, I know it, right? It's like, I want to help you, but there's just not there something, right? I want to help you, but I know it really is. Like, I want, but I think, I said, I, and I said to him I, on the phone, I said, listen, just send this to your best guys. Here is this video. This tells you the story. Here's this video. This tells you my work, right? Here's the connection right here. I think we have enough. I think you go to a judge and say, and if anything, this is copyright infringement, right? I don't need to have a patent, right? I put, I did put, and I, I did put this in the public domain, but not for, but, but as Creative Commons, non, uh, whatever it's called, non, uh, uh, and, and non-profit, basically I put it as no money and you can't change my idea. They're changing my idea and I, and I have evidence of doing that. So I think I have a fucking good chance here, the crazy clown. It's, it's open source provided you do not change it and you do not monetize it. Understand. The fifth age is built on Danos, not DAOs. So 100% flows into this Dano, right? This Dano provides a return. So imagine, okay, so imagine you play this game. Imagine you're playing this. We'll use them as an example. Imagine you come, you put your Bitcoin in it. When you put your Bitcoin in it, congratulations. You get a, tw I don't know what it's going to be. We'll have to figure out the math. Some, you know, one of Brock's, you know, clever scientists. He's, he's got access to, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just, I just make the form. Don't you know, ask me to answer everything, but, but basically, right. Imagine when you play the game, you get a, a, you get a dividend all the time because it takes a portion of that Bitcoin. I'm thinking, you know, 20% of your Bitcoin in, in the game, and it's going to give you a dividend payout in, in the token. In our case, fucks. It's always going to give you fucks, right? So imagine now that Bitcoin goes parabolic. What happens to your, 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 your fuck? They go parabolic too, right? So, so my thing is, if I create a game for the masses to make it possible for them to launch their ideas, right? And we get them putting in the Bitcoin in there, and then this well dries up and it goes parabolic, then everyone who is struggling and trying to launch these ideas are going to get funds to, and, and the world's going to be a better and happier place, right? It's really simple. That's an exciting time. Yeah. 
huge activity in the Bitcoin in, in general? No, it hasn't had a lot because it's it's because it's so early. But I see, and I know Brock sees on it now. He, Brock is probably like going, "Holy fucking shit!" I'm glad I'm I'm glad that dude caught this shit um, because this would have this would have surprised and tanked and hurt a lot of people. And see, Brock has the means to get the message out. They were they were you know so they got kicked off of Twitter. Let's destroy Twitter. Let's put you know it's it's you know and, and let's take over the world, right? And let's bring on, you know, this guy who's able to who get people lemmings to storm the capital. He'll be the best guy to get lemmings to buy Bitcoin. I mean, it's going to be a lot, e a lot easier to get them to buy Bitcoin than storm the capital. I guarantee, right? So if I can storm, get them to storm the capital, I think I can get buy them your fucking stupid Bitcoin. And see, they, you know, and see, you know how they fucked up, right? By you know, by just not talking with me, they blacklisted me as one. I reached out to them, they ignored me, right? Um, Tyler, I reached out to Tyler, as you can see, a bunch of times. He just ignored me. Dude, I don't like being ignored. And, and being ignored means that there's something to hide, even though Brock, you fucking ignore me all the time, except for the right time. You notice, you notice how Brock, look, I'm going to show you. Brock, if, if, if you're, are you watching? Can you put a smiley face or something? Are you watching? You don't want to let people know you're watching. Well, I've already said that you're watching. I bet you are watching. Will you be upset if I show you the email? Because you don't type. Brock never types. I'm just going to show it. Brock, uh, please post if you don't want me to show your email. I'm assuming you're watching because I talked to you. Okay, good enough. Fair enough. All right. So let me show you. <laughs> the Brock never fucking types. When you're a billionaire, you don't type. Okay? Or anything. He doesn't. I'm always just feeding him information. Periodically, I get a thank you for share. Right? That's, that's the extent of Brock. Right? You know, I was like, here. Like, I got t-shirts. Went there. And he's like... And then, uh, you know, just like a little, yeah, lightning, boom. Right when we were talking, <laughs> so I was like, what for? And then he's like, lawsuit. He's like, oh, I know them. He's like, uh, so anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So maybe, bro, <laughs> Dadu, as prophesized, I didn't have to code anything. I ended up with an amazing code team. I ended up with everything, right? And and we'll launch the, the thing on as prophesized on the dates on 12, 12, 24. And we can tell everyone in the community, don't worry, all your Bitcoins there. And not only that, we'll, all the Bitcoin that's going in, you're going to get a, you're going to, and we'll partner with, it's already set up. You know, we can partner with, um, with Nexo or any other. All these people have these things where they pay dividends out, right, on it. And we're going to, and then, and then what we're going to do is, is it will give people an option to play that game. I don't know. That game's going away, by the way. There is no, there's n none of that shit in our game. That game is stupid. As you listen to my post, why, you know, and I, and, and the, here's the problem. Okay. Here's the problem. You know why they couldn't figure out they, why they did it? Because only, um, I never really went over. Let me open new. Open. And uh, here is the game mechanics. All right. This is the game mechanic. See, Brock and I are gamers, right? We look at that shit that they have, and that's fucking, you know, just dumb, right? It's just dumb. You're gonna, you're gonna get bored out of the whole reason, like the whole mess of, well, you put it in and kind of wait long and and hope, right? Just get it in there, get going, you know, buy your Bitcoin so we can steal it and then play it and go it. This here is, um, you know, is a framework, and and and, uh, um, yeah, and and this is fun, right? You actually get products. You actually get, you win, you actually get, you know, Bitcoin back, or this would be Satoshis that then you can use, and this would be fucks, right? So imagine you, you're, if you, uh, I don't want to go into it, but, but anyway, it's the game mechanics. All right. But, uh, but this is, this is fun. This is like, it takes away. I talk about it. Actually, you know what? I will share you the video that I talk about it. Um, let me go here. Let me go here. I'll share it with you. I'll put it in there too. Um. No, I didn't talk about the game. I talked about the noodle on there. So, your channel. You know, you guys watching, you know, and um, maybe I'm crazy and nothing's going to play out. But if it does play out, you can say, dude, I was there live when that dude, you know, basically, uh, uh, let me go, my, your videos. This one right here. It's unlisted. I'm making it public now because of what's happened. 
I don't have nothing to say. So I made this for the Noodle King, um, which actually I need to. All right. And uh, this here basically talks about these two parts. It's really important, right? Um, and it's it's hard, even for me, the paradigm. When you're moving from, okay, so you have to understand, when you're moving from a paradigm of com of consumption, growth equals consumption, right, and participation, to, or, or, or um, uh, um, compounded annual growth rate. So, so exponential growth built on consumption of limited finite resources right, and demand all that stuff right to one that isn't that's what i'm building that's this engine right this is the head of the ouroboros is our business model that's chomping down and devouring our planet and talks you know polluting and bringing all these problems in so in this one here i'm going to copy it and you can watch it and listen to it i'm gonna put it in twitch right here right is me i spent uh, I don't know if I did it in that. I don't know. I didn't do that video. But if you were watching me live on this video, you see me. I basically zone zoom in on Undow Two onto the top, and I and I just do a a, um, um, a very focused meditation to really get my mind right into that spot. And that's the other thing is is as as uh, Bakdu would say is that you know as a Sadhu we wield special powers and the moment he said that i was like you know no i don't have and that was in the meeting i was like no nah, i don't have it i was like and then i was like we, we'd been talking and debating for three hours right the first time we met i'd been looking for the meeting i was up in his his his, his suite there in 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 uh in the in the in the monastery of undowdu i've i've taken it i've claimed it right it's it's the you know so there's nothing you can say whatever you know but it is the monastery of undowdu in puerto rico it's one of the oldest things and i have uh i have I have I have consecrated it with the dew, right? Of undoubted dew. Um a spirit. So um and then I realized instantaneously that it is the things my the power that I have as a sadhu is this. The things and the people to make um um this fifth age a reality will manifest around me for it to happen like the timing of brock just then like the the meet you know the attorney that I, I i secured in 2011 who knows my entire history of work who's been there all along the journey trying to you know um to the you know the, trying to steer the the crazy clown right i'm the crazy clown i'm a crazy clown inhabited by a great sadhu and you know um and all of that so and then and, and also just talking about it, you know, if you listen to this video, I'm, I'm you know, the more you talk about something, that's why counseling is good. Right. That's why not keeping anything on your on your back is good. And uh, it, it releases. And then you start making those connections. Right. And then you're like, aha. And you're like, wait a minute. And I was like, wait, let me go look at this. Oh, there's where they because I, I was like, how they know it was stacked. Right. I was like. How would they know that? that was a clue, right? They stacked to doubt. That's not, I don't talk about that. I mean, I do, but you'd really have to know me, right? To know that. You have to be part of the team to know that. So, uh, you know, and then, you know, and then making the correlation of his super interest, which was the same as is a repeat of, you know, the rhyming of history with Mihao. And, uh, you know, and I put the dog like taking a shit on your plans. <laughs> That's oif, by the way. That's the noodle. So uh, taking a poop, pooping out some some fucks. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna be on my um, um, uh, found up uh, uh, Twitch Undow Do, and I'm gonna be chanting and celebrating and 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 singing to the do right for you and everyone because we are just one we're our birthday was 13.8 trillion years ago billion years ago not trillion billion years ago we existed in this primordial this entangled soup as one thing as one entity we probably inhabited you know a time and without timelessness who knows right in the quantum level there is no time in this thing so we, we exist and this is where i'd have to turn over to to a, a far 
deeper in understanding mind as Bach Du, who understands himself. But in my mind, from the point of view of us, there was no before that because there was no time. The event was the Tao. The Tao happened, and that's the that's the, the the expansion that we have, and that energy then flowered, blossomed into the lotus, which you could say consciousness of us, into into us, and that is the represented the open hand. So you have the fist, the the opening hand, and the blossoming of the hand. Un Tao Du, and you know, I love you. All right. Okay. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to, if you guys want to hang out here, tell people, all right, I'm going to put this uh, stream on replay. All right. Um, on here. So uh, let me just, I'm going to finish this up. Let me um, end this stream so people can go and just tell people if they come in here. Yeah. Uh, it's on found up stream. You can watch it all unfolding. Um, it's interesting stuff. <laughs> Yeah, 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 brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, you know, I know. I, you know, I, you know. This is this is. You know, do you have do you see Brock hang out in Clubhouse? This is. Let me just say, all right. You know, for all you people watching that you're gonna be watching this, I want to end this up. This is Chinese state controlled product. All right. Do you understand that everything you are saying is being plugged in to a supercomputer? That, that basically is building a, a, a profile of who and what motivates you based on your conversation interacting in this, in this fucking test tube. What the fuck are you guys thinking? That's all I have to say to that, right? Anyway, but it, but it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it, does, it doesn't matter because the fifth age is here. All right, all of this is going... The AI, you know, everything is everything is, is is unfolding as predicted. But I just think it's funny. That's all. I'm just throwing it in their face that these so-called intellectuals, these so-called leaders, that they're here allowing themselves to be milked like cows in a shed, right? Of their of their intellectual data and everything else, so that you, they can now manipulate your vote, manipulate your action, and everything else. Just undoubtedly, just bring it. I'm just saying. I'm just. I, I'm just going to tell you how it is. All right, I'm going to mute myself here. I'm going to finish this up. Thanks, Julian. Thanks, thanks, Matt. And Pierce. He's uh, um, he's number twelve. He has, he has the, like the bandana and the long hair, smiling at the at the four cyberpunks because you know he was uh, he the moment he he was selling virtual gold. So you can imagine when the, when 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 real Bitcoin came right. And he's like, holy shit, you know, this is, this is, he, he saw it right off the bat, right? He was the first one to see it. And, and, and to his credit, you know, to his honor and everything else, I, you know, his um, acknowledgement early on me and not treat me like this crazy guy, this crazy clown that I am and, and, and listening to this, this perpetuous little puppy kind of pissing all over him and, and, and knowing that, that, that this puppy would grow up and would awaken and I just he did just to be patient right and need to spank him a few times right <laughs> you know like you know you know in a in not in a not in a you know with a verbal you know not the best of metaphors I agree but uh, verbally um, um, put me right and I appreciate all that anyway undoubt do all right okay here <laughs>